Okay, now I'm testing the 16 to 50 OSS lens. So this is obviously the 16 mil. So this is actually an APS-C lens, it's not a full frame lens. So basically the idea is that with the Sony ZV-E1, if you enable dynamic active stabilization, it crops in a lot into the sensor. So the theory or the hack that some people propose is that you use an APS-C lens on it that would actually use the, the center of the sensor anyway. So the, the, the idea is that the crop from dynamic active is deep enough so that you won't see the vignetting on an APS-C lens. And a lot of people are proposing that we use APS-C lenses on this camera instead of full frame lenses. Uh, so you can actually see when I move, look at the corners. You'll see actually the vignetting circle. Because it's not a full frame lens, it doesn't actually cover the full sensor. Obviously we're cropping in a little bit, so we only see the center piece of the sensor. But when they shake, uh, it obviously tries to stabilize by moving where it's actually grabbing the image from the sensor. So then when they shake, you actually do see some of that vignetting moving in and out of the, the sensor. But this is quite nice because it's 16 mil, so it's actually quite wide. Uh, it's not a low f-stop, it's f3.5, so yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a nice compact lens. It's very, very compact. It's about half the size, um, the same obviously girth. <laughs> <laughs> the girth is the same, but the, the length of the lens is actually about half. That's because when you switch this one off, the whole lens collapses, which is quite nice. And there's also optic image stabilization in here, so this should be ridiculously stable. I'm going to do another run test, so let's go Yeah, I'm going to run now. <laughs> let's see how that is. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I was actually very interested to see how that looks on the... <laughs> on the um okay i've got a couple of cheerleaders there so yeah the cool thing is uh so if you're on 16 mil there is some vignetting if you shake the camera a bit you can see it quite a bit but as soon as you start zooming in it actually goes away so maybe let's zoom in a little bit i'm gonna zoom into okay there's like 20 mil okay so this is 20 mil i can still see a little bit of it creeping in when we move around and yes, let's go to 24 mil because we're used to 24 mil. Uh, okay, so there's 24 mil. So this is similar to my other lens, my 24 mil 2.8. Uh, I'm going to just shake it side to side, see if the vignetting creeps in. It doesn't look like it's creeping in. So yeah, so it's a, it's a possibility for vlogging. So if you do, if you know you get, there's going to be a lot of shake. Maybe don't use the 16 mil. <laughs> use a little bit of a deeper zoomed in uh, lens. But yeah, that's a, it's an option. It's an option. Um, it's just obviously it's not a it's not a very premium lens. Not a high quality glass. So the picture quality is not going to be as great. And obviously, if you are on 16 mil, let's go back to 16 mil. I really like that 16 mil, nice and wide. If you are on 16 mil. Obviously your f-stop is only 3.5 and it goes obviously to 50 mil. If you're on 50 mil, your f-stop is 5.6. So yeah, that's basically the difference between the two. So uh, after reviewing the footage on the computer, I can see that the, the vignetting is quite extreme. So I would actually rather not recommend this lens. Uh, I think if you do pair it with this camera body, you, would, you will be very unhappy. This is a lens purely, it only works for APS-C cameras. It's not this whole full frame concept where you take the full frame and you crop it. I just don't think it works well. Uh, it's rather just get a full frame lens. The quality will just be so much better. So yeah, this is Steve. If you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe. If you like this video, just press the button. Until next time, ciao.